So I saw Marvel's Ant-Man at the BFI IMAX yesterday and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it is not going to be like Age of Ultron with the big crash bang action wallop and all of that. It's a much smaller piece. It's a heist movie. It sounds like a heist movie. It feels like a house heist movie. And it's a lot of fun. You know, um, there was a nice uh, introduction to the movie. Uh, like the first five minutes, there's a nice, great visual effect that you're just like WTF, almost jaw-dropping type of visual effect. I would say look out for it is in the first five minutes. You'll know it when you do see it. It was just incredible. I know some people were really pissed off about Edgar Wright leaving and thinking that it would be Marvel's first failure since they lost someone like Edgar Wright in the movie. And in my own honest opinion, I think it was for the better of the movie. It was a better movie since Edgar Wright left it because Peyton Reed did a good job in it. Yes, I know Edgar Wright is a really talented filmmaker. I'm not taking anything away from him. But I kind of feel like he might not have worked well with Marvel, but either way. Um, so to start off the film, it starts with Paul Rudd's character, Scott Lang, who's an ex-con, uh, and tries to make something out of him, his life since it came out. But things are not going well, so he goes back into that life and ends up grabbing the Ant-Man costume. And... The moment he puts on the costume is hysterical. I mean, it's hysteria, hysteria all the way throughout that. And it's his, the the there was a scene in a in a club which was his, which was just great. He ends up getting mentored by Hen, Henry Hank Pym, played by Michael Douglas. And I do have to say, Michael Douglas was astonishing in it. He not he was not playing it for the for the paycheck. He was. He was doing the act. He was acting. He was acting for real, and it was you could see it in the movie. His daughter is um, Hope Van Dyne, played by uh, I forget her name right now. Forgive me, but yeah, she was amazing in it as well. Yeah, um, but yeah, she does have issues with her father. Yeah, Evangeline Lily, that's her name as well. Uh, he got out. She got ousted him from the co company and is now being run by Damien Cross, I think that's his name, played by Corey Stoll, who was a protege of Hank Pym as well. And who is trying to um who is trying to develop Hank Pym's Pym particle formula for the Ant Man and ends up becoming Yellow Jacket. And I know some people complained about it, but he was good for what he was given, you know. I mean it was not it was not low key, but it was good enough for me in my own honest opinion as well. You know, Corey Stoltz did a great job. When he shrink when Hank Pym uh, when Scott Lang shrinks, you know, it, the visual effects is handled quite well. Again, it's a heist movie and the thing was they ended up having to get a crew. Uh and they had to get Scott's original crew. So I was not sure about certain actors here. Especially T.I. But T.I. really did a, a, was really good. He worked for the movie. I had to comment him in it. It was really good. But the steal of the show was Michael Pena. Oh my God. He was just so hysterical throughout the movie. You know, yes, he will annoy you for a bit. But you get, in, you get into it. The other main characters of the movie are the ants. You know, because the ants play a big part of it as well. And I tell you this, there's a moment in it that you're just like, damn it, Marvel, why did you make me like these ants so much? The shrinking was amazing. The third act was fantastic. Check out the third act. It was just incredible, jaw-dropping. Um, the heist itself was just <laughs> lovely. I enjoyed the heist. And um, the ants, you know, he, the relationship, Hank. I mean, Scott forms with the ants was just great. Oh, keep an eye for a, for Anthony in it as well. Anthony was really good. Not Tony Stark, just Anthony. Yeah, Anthony was really good in the movie, so keep an eye out for Anthony. They also gave us these posters for the, at the IMAX cinema. So guys, yeah, it was a really fun film. I, ch I would say you should watch it. If you can watch it at the IMAX, please do. So yeah, guys, this is my review for Ant-Man. It's well worth it. Uh, I'll most likely pick it up on Blu-ray. And yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one. And by the way, the film has an extended scene by a previous character from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and a cameo by another. And it also has two post-credit scenes, so keep an eye out for them.